biomass and biofuels. What do you think of when you hear the word biology? Do you know what it means? Let's break the word down. Bio means life. Logi means the study of something. So if we put bio and logi together, we get the study of life. Now, let's look at some other words that begin with bio. Biography is the story of someone's life. Biodegradable means something that can be broken down by living organisms. A biologist is a person who studies life and living organisms. Now that you know the meaning of bio, let's learn about two more important bio words. The words are biomass and biofuels. Let's break those words down, starting with biomass. We already know that bio means life. Now, let's look at the word mass. A tire is made from rubber, and a car is made of metal. Both of these things are made up of matter. In fact, everything is made up of matter, including you. Mass is the amount of matter that objects are made up of. Even though a tire and a car are both made up of matter, the difference between those items and you is that you are living, and those other things are not. So, when we add the word bio in front of mass, we are talking about matter that comes from living things. All living things get their energy from the sun. Plants get it through a process called photosynthesis. Biomass, or the material from plants or animals, has stored sunlight or energy in them. This energy is released or comes out when there's a chemical reaction, like people eating those plants. The food is then broken down in your stomach through digestion. The energy is then released and feeds your body. That's why it's so important to eat good food. The better the food, the more energy it has to keep you moving. Some plants are grown for us to eat. Other plants are grown specifically to make energy in other ways. Their biomass, or leftovers, are converted into fuel. A tree is a great example of biomass. If you have ever seen a tree get taken down, you might have noticed that it is then put into a wood chipper. The wood chipper then takes that massive tree and turns it into tiny chips of wood and sawdust. Those chips can be used for mulch in a garden or for landscaping. They might be used to cover the floor of a playground or to barbecue. Sawdust can be used as cat litter and make particle board. Wood chips are also used as biofuel and can be burned to create heat, which is a form of energy. A tree can be specifically grown and then burned for its energy, or it can be used for something else, like building a home or a fence. The leftover wood can then be burned for energy. Because more plants and trees can be planted to replace those that have been used for energy, we call biomass a renewable energy source. This means it is a source of energy that we can create again and again. However, there is only so much land and water to regrow plants and trees, so it is necessary to find other sources that can be used for energy. Crops used for fuel are called energy crops or power crops. They are grown on farms in very large quantities. One of the most popular power crops is corn. Like wood chips, dry-shelled corn is also burned for energy. A gas called methane is produced when garbage in a landfill begins to rot. The methane gas can be used to heat homes and businesses. And did you know that methane gas from cow manure, which is a fancy word for poop, can also be used to create energy? So, if you're ever out camping and forget firewood, look for the nearest cow pasture. Now, let's take a look at our second bio word. Biofuels. You are probably already familiar with the word fuel. Remember, bio means life, so biofuel is life from living sources. Biomass is used to produce biofuels. An example of biofuel is the leftover vegetable oil that was used for making french fries. Corn was the biomass that created the vegetable oil, and the leftover oil becomes biofuel. That oil can be recycled and used as fuel in cars and trucks. In fact, one owner of four fast food restaurants engineered his car to be able to run on used vegetable oil instead of gasoline.
Not only did his car go, but the leftover oil was recycled instead of thrown away. Ethanol is another type of biofuel. It is often used in engines that usually burn gasoline. Ethanol is an alcohol that is used for energy. It is made from the biomass of grains such as corn, barley, wheat, grass, sugarcane, and several other crops. Two other types of biofuels are biodiesel, which is used in large trucks and tractors, and biojet fuel, which is used in airplanes. These fuels are made by processing oil, fat, and sugar collected from plants or animals. Besides biofuel, there's another kind of fuel called fossil fuels. Did you know what a fossil is? A fossil is a super old organism like a plant or animal that has been preserved in a rock. Well, fossil fuels are natural fuels formed in the earth from dead plants and animals that are millions of years old. We get fossil fuels out of the earth by digging, drilling, and mining. Fossil fuels like gas, coal, or oil are burned to make heat or power. Fossil fuels are used in school buses, cars, and trucks. They are also used in homes and business for heat and light. Fossil fuels are referred to as non-renewable energy sources. They are the opposite of renewable sources, which can be used again and again. Biofuel is different than fossil fuels. Even though material made from the plants and animals can be used to power things, just like coal or gas can, a big difference between biofuels and fossil fuels is that many scientists believe that biofuel is cleaner and better for the environment. Let's look at some of the advantages of using biofuels instead of fossil fuels for energy. They release less pollution into our air. Engines can run longer on biofuels. Biofuels reduce greenhouse gases, which are gases that trap heat and cause harmful effects to our environment. Biofuels are renewable, which means they can be replaced like a tree that can be replanted. There are different sources that can be used for biofuels. Using biofuels create more jobs for people who need work. And biofuels help us become less dependent on oil. While biofuels have some great advantages, there are also some disadvantages. They can be expensive to produce. The soil may have less and less nutrients when the same crop is grown year after year. Large amounts of water and fertilizer to grow these crops may lead to water pollution. If land is used to grow food for energy instead of for eating, a shortage of food might happen, which could mean that the cost of food could go up. Many people still believe that biofuels are a better and cleaner option to fossil fuels, but because there are still disadvantages, more research needs to be done on using them. Biofuels may become the energy source of the future. Maybe one day, You'll even own a car that runs on leftover french fry oil. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.